Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna talk about some brand new releases from 2022 and some of them were released last year, end of last year, 2021. Um, I've tested all of those perfumes, okay? I think all of them are designers besides one. Um, tested them, I think, last week, some last week, some um, a couple of weeks ago. I don't have a sample of them. I've tested them without knowing the notes, um, I don't know, the main accords or anything like that. I just went straight to the store, saw that they're new, tested them, liked them or I didn't like them. And I'm going to tell you exactly uh, which ones I think are good, which ones I think were not that good. With some, I tested them like maybe three times, but each of them I tested at least twice, okay? Like I went two days in a row to test them. Um, most of them I didn't like, have to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm going to tell you exactly what I smelled sometimes and with some of them it's not gonna reflect necessarily the notes because i don't know the notes before and for me they like it didn't smell like the notes would suggest they would smell anyway um i got in here one that is good and it's on my wish list i will 100 buy it another two that are maybe and the other ones are just like a total no um yeah if you want to know more about those new releases what i think about them if i like them and if or if i don't like them um keep watching Give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and now we're gonna jump on to the video the first scent that I was extremely intrigued about was from jean paul gautier la belle fleur terrible i think it's pronounced the bottle is gorgeous okay i really like the original la belle i do have la belle le parfum because i just prefer this one and when i saw that one i was like okay okay i'm waiting for it to be available it is available now I've tested it and first one to two minutes were amazing. Like those two minutes were amazing. I was like, oh my God, this is just beautiful. It was fresh, not fresh, like, like lemony fresh. It was more like aquatic and super sweet in the same time. It gave me, it was like a very odd combination, but like it worked. Okay, just drop something guys. Now this one. I think it's the one that I dropped. Yep. Gave me this. Um, Shantex Styles from Nina Rigi. Vibes. This one is uh, like caramel and aquatic notes. It, they don't smell like the same, but same vibe, you know, like something very sweet mixed with some aquatic notes. Oh, this is just beautiful. But after those two minutes, it got so metallic and it got, ugh, I didn't like it. Like, I really, really didn't like it. I had to like wash it off like immediately. And then the next day I went again, I sprayed it again. I was like, oh my God, the opening is gorgeous. And same thing happened. I left it there because I was like, okay, I need to test it properly. And the dry down was okay. But the first, like, I don't know, 50 minutes, I really didn't enjoy it. It was like super metallic and just like, ugh, I don't know, it gave me like a weird sensation. I really, really didn't like that one. So uh, that new label, it's a no for me. Next one. Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid from Victor and Rolf. Same story. I've tested it and the opening, it was the most, I don't know, juicy opening, sweet, juicy, and just, oh, delicious. Two minutes later, it got into Flower Bomb, the original, but just like extreme, like beast mode. Very sweet, like way, way, way sweeter than the original same dna everything that was in the opening that like juicy thing going on was gone it was just flower bomb we like i don't know the extreme version of flower bomb and it was just too much it was too much it was giving me a headache if you like if you i do like flower bomb i had it i sold it because i was just not using it um but i still like it i still like it but if you absolutely love flower bomb you might like um ruby orchid it's just like way too sweet, like extremely sweet, sickly sweet. I just couldn't. I love, I love a good gourmand. I love something very, very sweet. Okay. Uh, but that one was just like way, 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 way too much for me. Next one. And the one that I loved and the one that I'm definitely going to buy now right now because it's a new release and it's extremely expensive for designer. I'm going to wait, but I'm going to buy it. From Chloe, uh, from the Nomad line, Nomad Naturel. 
such a beautiful scent very different from the original i don't have the original i have the absolute and i have the eau de toilette um can i really tell you exactly what it smells like i was getting maybe some jasmine i was getting this like tea vibe going on maybe some tiari flower even though i don't like tiari flower it it was giving me that like summery tiari with jasmine but very earthy in the same time and very natural like the name it's perfect it's not a santan lotion because sometimes tiari flower can be like coconutty santan lotion it's not that extremely natural extremely i know pleasant just pleasant that's it i really really enjoyed it first time when i tested it, i was like yeah i really like it but i have to test it again so i tested it again and i was just like i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna buy it but right now i think that 30 ml is 50 pounds I'm not paying 50 pounds for designer for 30 ml and the big one I think it's a 90 ml was like 100 uh -uh. no I'm not paying that I'm waiting I'm waiting like one month two months it's not gonna be a bestseller okay I, I know that it's not gonna be a bestseller Um, it's gonna get like the price is gonna go down I'm waiting or for a sale or something I'm not paying that but the scent absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous different again very different from the original um nomad or the absolute or the toilet uh, but still a very very beautiful scent so i highly recommend you go and test that one because it's beautiful the next one is one that i really liked but i don't think i'm gonna buy it it's from Givenchy. it's the new linter d no nocturnal jasmine i was looking to like try this one i was so intrigued because i love jasmine and i do really like uh, Linter D. I have the rouge version. That's my favorite. This one is very, very similar, even though I don't think it has tuberose listed. It's very, very similar to the original. It's just not as strong. It's like a softer version, not necessarily a fresher version. Don't think it has something like very fresh and bright. No, it's just like a softer version of the original. And then maybe, maybe some jasmine in there. I couldn't really detect it. It was very nice. It was very, very nice. But for me, the Linter D DNA is so powerful. It's so strong. It's so in your face. And that's the DNA. Like, this is how that scent is meant to be. This one felt, like, way too soft. Like, way too soft. Like, also, like, the scent. But it also, like, didn't project that much. So that's why I'm like, mm. Like, if you like the Linter D version, but you felt that it's like way too powerful, way too in your face, maybe try this one. You're not really gonna get that much jasmine, but it's a beautiful scent. Like, I really, really liked it. Uh, comparing to the next one, that it's uh, from Valentino, Born in Roma, Coral uh, Fantasy. Overpriced, I don't know, Escada style perfume. It was something fruity, more not original but more um a bit more complex than an escada perfume but was giving me escada vibe like Esc escada vibes 100 percent something fruity fun that was it if that perfume would be like 20 pounds i was like yep go for it go for it it's good but it's not 20 pounds it's i think same like 30 million i think it's around 50 no no, you can get other fruity perfumes that are like way better in my opinion. It was not necessary this release. Um, Bony Roma, it's a very, it's a beautiful scent. This one was not necessary, period, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, didn't really enjoy it. Uh, next one, again, I didn't enjoy this one and I'm so annoyed because it's a, it's a brand I absolutely love. Elisab Le Parfum Lumiere. I saw that they have in the notes Ilang Ilang and they do really like Ilang Ilang and I was like, ooh, maybe this one's gonna be like Le Parfum mixed with, I don't know, something like Ilang in Gold from Emi Calif. It's not. Mm -mm. It's very similar to the original, mostly very similar to Eli Sab Le Parfum in white. I had that one, it was a blind buy. I kind of liked it, but I sold it because I the right that one. Just, uh. It has Magnolia as well, I'm pretty sure. And I do really don't like that note. And I didn't like it in this scent. It smelled very floral and soapy in the same time. Like a very strong, expensive floral bar soap. I'm sorry. I love Le Parfum, okay? I love the original. I do have, I have like lots of flankers. I have just Le Parfum, uh, Resort Collection and Royale right now. Yeah, just three flankers. 
but I love it. I love that that DNA. I like. I love that like orange blossom, patchouli honey. I wasn't getting that with this Lumiere thing. It was it wasn't necessary, really. It was just okay. So yeah. And the last one, it's actually um, a niche, pretty expensive. But for this company, it's not that expensive. It's pretty affordable because their um, their fragrances are like very 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 pricey. But I understand why. It's also the packaging. They're using like natural like the best quality wood and um, so it makes sense you know uh, and this fragrance i'm like i want it but not now fragrance dubois secret tryst the bottle first of all the bottle it's gorgeous it's stunning i've seen it in reality and it's just stunning it will look absolutely amazing in here um and it's a good one it's an amber scent, okay, but for some reason, it's done, not listed in the notes, it was giving me uh, Dior Vanilla Diorama vibes with some amber, something balsamic almost, I think it has benzoin if I'm not wrong, like something balsamic and more like woody going on. Unisex, I heard some people saying, people around me, not on the internet, saying it smells quite masculine. For me, it smells like unisex leaning feminine, so it really depends. I was getting that like, I don't know, vanilla, boozy vanilla with some orange that are not listed. I don't know why, but I did really like it. Like, I really, really liked it. It has that amber, and usually I'm not the biggest fan of amber, but I like the, the, the amber used in this fragrance. I liked it. Am I gonna buy it? I don't know because like we are in March so that is more like a fall scent if I'm completely honest so I don't think I need it right now but it's a very beautiful scent okay it's a very very beautiful scent very well blended uh, like well rounded I really like that one I really like that one and I'm gonna see I'm gonna wait okay obviously I don't need it now but maybe sometime this year Towards like the end of the year, I'm gonna get it. I don't know, I have to see, but I, I, I did really like it. So from um, the ones I tested, I really liked Secret Trist from Fragrance Dubois, and I loved Nomad um, Natural, 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 I have no idea, uh, from Chloe, that one I'm definitely getting next month. Whenever I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna say it. So yeah, those were the new releases that I've tested. Um, not really so like many. I've, I'm checking every single day because I'm working in, um, a center so I have like I don't know five perfume stores next to me every single day and um, so I'm asking all the time is something new is there something new something new coming up N no not really um, yeah that was it everything that I've tested um, if it's something new then you know that it's released and you want me to go test it and tell you guys uh, what I think about it let me know let me know in the comments down below because I, I genuinely want to test something new but I don't have anything new to test so yeah uh, yeah that was it for today I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was very short and very I can a bit different uh, because I'm not having the samples but I can tell you exactly what I smell I think it's, it's better you know I think it's better because when you get home maybe you're like changing sometimes your opinion but I've tested like every single scent at least twice um, and it was just like my first you know first sniff um, without knowing the notes like I had no idea about the notes and it was just like weird to see exactly how like the notes are um, on Fragrantica maybe and then what I was smelling was completely completely different so yeah I'm gonna stop talking that was it for today if you like this video don't forget to the big thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'm gonna see you in my next one and like I said if you know that any new release is coming up um, it's gonna be released especially here in the UK because there are some perfumes that are released but they're in the US and I can't get them um, if you know that something new is coming up let me know so I'm gonna go and test them that was the first day I'm gonna see you in my next one bye bye